Hello students, as we are observing, you have written over there a square of a binomial. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about first and second identity of algebra or simply square of binomials of two same binomial expressions. So, let's see the video. Suppose we have two same expressions. a plus b and a plus b clear and we are going to find out the product of these two so as we know these same terms if you multiply each other so it's a a plus b square we can easily write down this as this one or when we try to find out the product we do this one as we know as we discussed in last video so it's a a square plus a b in this case b into a that is your a b plus b square a square plus 2 a b plus b square so this is your this one is known as your first identity means if we have a square of two binomial expression we can easily find out by using this formula clear we am i'm going to choose another one if this is your minus sign then a minus b whole square if we have a minus b whole square then we can easily write down a minus b into a minus b or a into a minus b minus b as I told you be careful about minus a square minus a b minus a b minus into minus it's a plus b into b b square. So what we have a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this is for if there is a minus sign in between and if there is plus sign in between. See both the concept. We have almost same terms but one term is with different sign that is your ab minus plus 2ab minus 2ab. Otherwise a plus b whole square is same. So these two are known as your first identity. If I told you that this is your first term, this is your second term, then we can easily write down. Uh, let me check. Yes, we have some place over there. Now suppose we have first term plus second term and there is a square. So, by observing these two, this one, we can easily write on first term square. Plus 2 is a new one. 2 into A means what? It's a first. This is your first. First. 2 into first into second. Plus second term square clear in place of first we have a in place of second we have b so first term square a square 2 into first term into second term 2 into first term a or second term b plus second term square it is a second square and for this if we have minus sign then we can change only this sign clear otherwise all things are clear hope you can easily understand this one is known as your first entity this one is known as your second entity try to remember this one because sometimes what happened in place of two variable we have one constant either this one or this one or both constant then it is easier easier for you to find out the square if you learn this part 
Again, I discussed this in the uh, explanation of some examples, but you must learn this one also, this one, or in common, this one. Clear? So, hope this one is clear to you. Move to the some examples. So, let's start. I am using some complex type of example so that you can easily understand how we use the entities in different different form. So, I am choosing this one 3 upon 4 x square plus 5 this one 3 upon 4 x square plus 5 question says that find the following products but you have to use identity always clear and if it is written over there in your question that find the products then you can easily solve we discussed in very first video of this heading uh, your binomial product of a special identities the very first video of this series but if it's asked you by using identity then you can use likewise so here you can write down by using identity Or you can end up simply by using a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Uh, you can easily change this one. Clear? So, how we write down first term square? What is the first term? See, in both the expression, this part is first term. Because in between these two, there is a plus sign. There is a plus or minus sign. So, plus sign, first term. So, first term. Plus second term. Plus two. Into first term. Into second term. If you wish, you can use bracket so that you can easily understand. Now, be careful about squaring this one. We are going to square this one. So, we individually we square each of the given number of variables. In this case, 3 square, so it's a 9. 4 square, it's a 16. This part complete. x square, power to the power, always multiplied. So, it's a 4. This part is clear. Plus 5 square, it's a 25. Plus, we are going to multiply. So, 2, 1, ja, 2, 2, ja. So, ultimately what we have? 5 into 3, 15 upon 2 x square. So, hope this one is clear to you. Okay, one more example we can use. No, I think we can easily understand, we can easily solve other the questions. Like uh, one more question is given 3x plus 7 or 3x plus 7, find the product likewise. Or if it is given 7 plus 2x, 7 plus 2x. So you can easily solve. This is your first term, this is your second term. First term means your A. In this case, A. Okay, suppose it's given A plus 3 and A plus 3. Then you can easily solve. Or if it's given 2A plus 3, 2A plus 3. Then you can easily solve. So try to solve all these questions plus questions given in exercise by yourself such type of questions only then our next topic is next point is find the products of if different uh, different things are there let me check see the example first 
okay uh, if there is a minus sign it's a 5 oh, chalk is gone wait see here it's a 5 x square minus 4 y square 5 x square minus 4 y square again we have 5 x square minus 4 y square here we are using minus sign so similarly same by using a minus b whole square equals to a square minus plus b square minus 2ab uh, remember I am solving all these questions taking as a int not simple as product so you can easily solve simple as a product one as by using the concept in the first video but I am using this for finding the square you can easily understand that this and this term I am saying so this is the product of this is square of this one or you can if you wish, I am change the question. This will question. Five x square minus four y square whole square. Clear? So by using anti, you can write down first term. What is the first term? This one. So first term is square plus second term is square four y square whole square this is complete for second term this one minus 2 into first term 4 x is 5 x square into second term 4 y square use bracket it's a 5 5 is a 25 x square no x square to the square is so 4 plus 16 y to the power 4 minus 40 x square y square. So I think you can easily solve the questions. Suppose if my purpose to explain the concept of first term and second term by using both the int. So you can easily solve questions likewise x minus 1 upon 2 all of you must solve by using identity because I am discussing this as a identity if in your book it is given find the product you can use the finding the product process that method also try to solve by using identity always I am using this statement or uh, we can solve uh, it as a uh, 2m minus n upon 3 2m minus n upon 3 okay hope this thing is clear to you solve all these questions and questions given in your book okay move to the next part now we are going to find out the square of the following number question says that find the square of following number expression so this is your expression we are going to find out the square means what initially use this one then what we write by using Check. this is first term this is your second term in between first term and second term we have plus sign so what which, uh, which int we are going to use it's a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab so it's a first term square plus 
1 upon 3x that is second term plus 2 into first term into second term so see here 3 3 is a 9 x x is a x square plus 1 1 is a 1 it's a 9 x square plus this complete can cancels each other so plus 2 this is your result now one more question so see here this is a very complex type of problem we will find out the square of this one as usual we are going to write down by using which one a minus b sorry it's a a plus b because in between these two we have plus sign equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab yes i forgot to tell you if you find out the mistakes total mistakes and give me as a comment part that how many mistakes i made in this video whether it's a plus minus sign bin mistake or whatever mistakes i am going to make during explanation you have to find out and write down in your comment section by using a plus b whole square this one what is our first term it's a, this is a complete first term now so whole square of this one plus this is our complete second term plus 2 into what is the first term it's a 1 upon 2 a to the power 4 into 1 upon 3 b to the power 7 use bracket for this one also it's a 1 1 is a 1 2 2 is a 4 a to the power 4 into 2 power to the power always multiply similarly we have 7 2 is a 14 plus these two cancels each other it's a 1 upon 3 a to the power 4 b to the power 7 so this is your solution hope this is clear to you ah uh, yes this part may be a little bit hazy one so please adjust so on board you are saying that in this this time i am going to use other example here we have minus sign by so in this case what we use by using a minus b whole square y because there is a minus sign equals to a square plus b square as we know that only this part has sign change 2ab minus 2ab so what we have 19x whole square plus second term 1 upon 8x whole square uh, sorry students this is by mistake I have written over there this is 1 upon 8x sorry clear then minus 2 into 19x into 1 upon 8x so what is the square of 19 171 x square plus 1 upon 64 x square minus x x cancels each other to forza so it's a minus 19 upon 4 clear this thing is clear to you so move to the next part our next question is very interesting find the square of x to the power 3 minus 1 upon x to the power 3 by using always you must use this statement by using a minus b whole square equals to 
ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी सो हाउ वी राइट डाउन फर्स्ट टर्म प्लस डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेंज डोंट फॉरगेट टू कीप दिस एज अ प्लस वन वन अपॉन एक्स क्यूब होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू इंटू एक्स क्यूब इंटू वन अपॉन एक्स क्यूब दिस इज योर एक्स टू डी पावर सिक्स प्लस वन अपॉन एक्स टू डी पावर सिक्स माइनस टू वाई बिकॉज दिस टू कैंसल्स इच अदर सो यू कैन इजली अंडरस्टैंड दीज थिंग्स so that it's uh, for this video we end up up to this one all of you try to solve simplification type problem we'll discuss in next videos but you have to find out the mistakes made by me in this video and write down in your comment section all of you those who are observing the videos you must give me the mis my mistakes in comment section it's mandatory for me That's all for today. Thank you.